Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Reality, as experienced from its more basic and common levels, is a unique cult experience, yes I said cult experience, as we sway to subtle tones of conformity. We cling dearly to common actions, common possibilities, and common results. Even our scientists struggle with pushing the envelope and some have suffered great ridicule or worse for suggesting new possibilities although not yet proven. Unless of course such discoveries can be used to more easily enslave. Cultures are models of a much vaster cult experience. There are so many safe perceptions that people cling to about the nature of reality, what it means to be human, and where they go from here. Beliefs and suggested perspectives about one's existence are predicated by undetectable suggestions that are now inherent. Our spiritual quest and perception of what that means have been infiltrated with compounding reinforced information and affirmations woven through almost all of our interactions with people, places, things, and ideas. Much of the kind of content I share doesn't have the safety net of what most are accustomed to, therefore it's not for everyone. What is fascinating is the allegiance most hold to imprisoning perspectives because their ability to ask deeper questions of existence is much too narrow and safe. That is however our prerogative, we determine the extent to which we want to inquire. What is commonly heard is that no one gets out of here alive so we succumb to a core human cult belief while dancing around the rim of reality with actions and beliefs that convince us that we are doing deep work and deciphering our enmeshment in this mesmerizing dreamscape. This is much bigger than balancing our chakras, basking in the flower of life information or sacred geometry, diminished acts of meditation or spending time with a guru or being on the right diet. It's very difficult to penetrate the spell when one is in constant search of the next feel-good distraction. Illnesses mental and physical are also distractions as they are all-consuming and keep us looking outwards, unable to engage our own abilities. Yet they deliver to us powerful messages of those things that are disrupting the signal. I understand and don't blame folks for setting up a safety net that will always present a reason why they can't do those things that would awaken deeper levels of their being. That kind of work is tough, and scary as we seem to encounter challenges that test our fortitude, determination, and thirst for the codes, the keys that will free the mind beyond the illusion of its prison. I get it. But for those who have said yes to pushing beyond the illusion before them, I implore you as I understand the fear, the sacrifice, and the will to cross that bridge. All things in time. We are free agents in this brain or mind stimulation and so there is no right or wrong time. Choosing to cross this brain bridge in this body is an undertaking but one that, from what I came here knowing is that it is a necessity in this human experience, perhaps it may take many cycles for some but this is not something you escape, contrary to some beliefs but it marks your awakening and completion of being human. I host workshops in support of this awareness that will come from inside each of us. One day that will change and I won't do them anymore but for now, while the inner calling is there I will. You are incredible champions in being human. You are doing exactly what your soul calls for at this moment in time. Much love. Sonia